Alberta's Serious Incident Response Team is the civilian oversight agency in Alberta, Canada responsible for the investigation of incidents resulted in serious injury or death to any person, as well as serious or sensitive allegations of police misconduct. ASIRT has jurisdiction over all municipal police officers and Royal Canadian Mounted Police K-Division officers, and for all complaints whether on or off-duty related. ASIRT has two offices, one in Edmonton, the other in Calgary, the executive director heads the agency and is responsible for reviewing all investigative reports and liaise with Crown Council, if there are reasonable grounds to determine an offence may have been committed, to determine whether charges will be laid against the subject officer. ASIRT is one of the three investigative oversight agencies for police in Canada, the other being the Independent Investigation Unit of Manitoba and Nova Scotia Serious Incident Response Team, to have current sworn police officers from the province appointed as investigators. On the other hand, the Special Investigation Unit of Ontario, the Independent Investigations Office of British Columbia, and the Bureau de Inquits Independence of Quebec prohibits serving police officers from their respective provinces from being appointed as an investigator. Besides management, administrative and support staff, there are 11 civilian investigators and 11 police officer investigators, 7 are from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, 2 from Edmonton Police Service, 2 from Calgary Police Service and 1 from Canadian Forces Military Police, civilian investigators are appointed as peace officers under Section 46.2 of the Police Act. ASIRT is the second investigative oversight agency for police in Canada, after the Ontario Special Investigation Unit. Its jurisdiction extends to all serving police officers regardless of agency. However, it does not investigate other provincial or municipal law enforcement officers known as peace officers under Alberta statutes. ASIRT has entered into memorandums of understanding to also investigate police incident in the Yukon Territory, as well as complaints against Canadian Forces military police that are stationed in Alberta, further ASIRT has on occasion investigated matters in Manitoba and Newfoundland and Labrador, at the request of the respective provincial governments. ASIRT does not accept complaints from the general public, and can only accept cases as assigned by the Director of Law Enforcement, the agency can either take the role as the lead investigative agency, be the overseer of an investigation conducted by a police agency, a reviewer of a RCMP investigation, or take part as both the overseer and reviewer. Once an investigation is completed, the report is forwarded to the executive director, the report is not made public. While all Canadian investigative oversight agency of the police investigate into incidents where serious harm or death as a result of police action, ASIRT has the additional mandate to investigate matters that are sensitive allegations of police misconduct such as fraud, breach of trust, sexual assault, aggravated assault by an officer or potential systemic racism and systemic corruption issues, and also investigates incidents that result in serious injury or death. ASIRT is a member of the Canadian Association for Civilian Oversight of Law Enforcement. A spike in investigations into possible sexual misconduct and corruption within police ranks has contributed to a ballooning caseload for the Alberta Serious Incident Response Team, the police watchdog agency took on 70 files from across the province last year, more than double the number of files assigned five years prior. In both 2016 and 2017, allegations of sexual offences by law enforcement officials and corruption rose dramatically, in some ways the rising caseload is a sign of confidence in the system. There's an onus on the police services themselves to report and we've seen since 2014 really positive improvements in the way that's happening, the executive director said, the system that's set up under the Police Act is improving, the police services themselves are buying into the process and buying into the benefit of an independent investigation. ASIRT investigates serious or sensitive allegations of police misconduct, as well as incidents that result in serious injury or death, it's then up to the executive director to determine whether police conduct was lawful, or if criminal charges are warranted. In an ideal world, ASIRT would have a separate anti-corruption team, those investigations are long and complex, possibly involving search warrants, wiretaps, and technological investigations. In sexual offense cases, multiple files are often opened on one person, once allegations become public, more complainants often come forward, in a positive sense the environment for reporting sexual offenses has become a bit more open so we are seeing more reporting, and that's across the board, whether it's with respect to police officers or the general public. There are also more critical incidents involving police, Many of those result from cases involving a civilian with mental health or drug addiction issues, which can deteriorate into a critical incident, cases where a person dies in police custody still raise the most interest from the public and the families of those involved. 
Funding for ASIRT from the Department of Justice and Solicitor General has increased over the past four years, going from $3.14 million in 2014 to 2015 to $4 million in the current fiscal year. The office has hired legal counsel and a technical analyst with part of that funding but delays that have resulted from years of growing caseloads mean that many officers are waiting longer to see if their names will be cleared. It's hard to get closure on both sides when there are files that are outstanding for a long time, delays are hard on officers, their families, and complainants. Assert says we cannot be wrong, we cannot make a mistake, because we make a mistake once and it will impact our reputation and public confidence and it isn't easy to get that back.